Welcome back, everybody, to Gold Rush. I'm an old guy gaming, and I bring you back uh, with an update on how we're doing here. We're still working on cutting away this little wall here, and I just about have another dump truck load, and then we will take that over to the wash plant and do a, do a clean out. And uh, once I break through the wall up here, I might go down below with the front loader and start kind of maybe digging things out down there a little bit. I haven't quite decided yet how best to handle that. Um, or if I should just kind of keep shaving away with the with the bulldozer. Uh, oh, I also discovered after I left you guys in the last episode that it only wanted me to change one of those, uh, one side of the cogs. Uh, you can't take the other side apart, so it's just not how it would be, of course, in real life, but apparently that's the way the, the game is. Uh, so I bought a whole extra set of cogs, but that's probably not a bad thing. If they go out that fast, we'll probably need the other set, too. Um, okay, so I think what we'll do is... Let's just park the loader here, and um, we'll probably come back here with the dump truck again for the next load. And I cut down a little steeper here too, but we are, we should be getting like really close uh, to breaking through here. I can't really see from there, so let's go around this way. Oh yeah, <laughs> we are really close to breaking through. So yeah, I'll probably break through this and then see. I'm not, I I don't know if I should keep working down from the top with the bulldozer, or if I should try and use the front loader to kind of roughly carve a steeper ramp and then smooth it out later with the bulldozer. I'm kind of thinking that's probably what I'm going to do because uh, I'm not sure if I can keep the you know the the bulldozer you know uh, what am I trying to say you know get it get it to keep going down. Uh, a steeper and steeper grade. I mean, this is kind of where I got it so far. I'll probably try it, keep trying it a few more passes and just see if it still gradually, you know, continues to cut down. And if it doesn't, if I can't make that work, then yeah, I'll probably start digging from down below and use the front loader to make a very rough cut ramp at the, you know, at the right angle and then use the bulldozer to smooth it out. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to, like like I said, just give you an update uh, or bring you back uh, to start the episode and give you an update on where I am. It has, it's only been, I don't know, about 10 minutes since I left you in the last episode, so not too much time. But it's coming along, and yeah, I'm liking the way that uh, things are coming together uh, with this ramp. It's, I think it's going to be pretty cool when it's all said and done. So we're going to have, like I said, a clean out to do. Uh, but, uh, you know, I think for the most part, most of this dirt we've been working with is not really all that fantastic. So... I'm not expecting to get a lot of gold from uh, uh, <laughs> from this. If you're wondering, too, why I'm doing the ramp when I have this passageway here, if, if you didn't hear me say this in an earlier episode, I'm, I'm still going to cut. Uh, where I am right now, I'm going to still cut all that out because there's actually a lot of gold-rich dirt right in this spot. And so once that happens, of course, I'm going to need another way to get up into the back 40 there. And so that's why we're doing the ramp. Plus, I wanted an opportunity to, you know, to work and learn the bulldozer, too. So that's kind of the tertiary reason for why we're doing it but it's not really the main reason so all right let's get this backed up here we already have one load in uh, the hopper there it doesn't actually show up until you get right up on it which is really kind of odd okay let's turn that off hop out of here and then start the plant up i think yeah that should be good to go oh why is this is this off or is it just not making noise? No, it's still running. Okay, so we have filled up our tank to to over sixty thousand gallons. Um, but I mean, <laughs> this doggone thing can hold a million gallons. I mean, I don't know how a million gallons is going to fit into a tank like that S small. That doesn't look like it's that big of a tank, but whatever. So this is the way the game works. So, okay, so let's turn the water on here. This is running. We just can't hear it because the sounds all messed up on it. But that's okay. Um, and we still have plenty of fuel too. That's the, the good thing about working 
in one X time is, you know, you can get so much more done and use so much less fuel. The downside to it is, you know, worker availability coming on board. So, uh, anyway, let's turn everything on here. This D rocker is super fast. I mean, th this little setup here cannot keep up with this D rocker. It just moves the dirt through like something fierce. Um, and I thought about, you know, filling the D rocker up directly with the front loader, but it just takes such a long time to bring a load from all the way down here, up to here, all the way down here, up to here. And this has about the same capacity as the dump truck, which is to say I can put about 12% dirt per load. So, you know, we're talking like eight, seven, eight loads to get that filled up. And by the time I'm done screwing around with that, I could have probably just done another dump, dump truck load. So I decided not to do it that way. Okay, let's turn our wash equipment on. And we want to disconnect you and you and connect you. There we go. All right, so yeah, let's let's go ahead and, and get this clean out done here. Uh, the first clean out that I did, uh, I made 68 ounces of gold, which is pretty darn good. And um, you can see that in the upper right hand corner. I'm not expecting this one to be that great though, because here again, we've kind of been using surface dirt that's not wasn't really all that great, but we'll see. Um, my guess is we're probably going to get about 35 to 40 ounces out of this clean out, but I could be wrong about that. I hope I am wrong about that and that it's more, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we got 11 and a half ounces of gold off of the bucket up there. So this, this isn't going to be a huge clean out, but that's what I expected. All right, we got 11.67 ounces of gold from the duplex jigs. And 22.21 ounces from the mosses. Uh, so that gets us up to 113. Uh, whoops. 113 ounces, and we had 68. So we got 30, 45 ounces from that? Wait. Am I counting that right? It'd be 32, 40. Yeah. We actually pulled 45 ounces. Okay. That's about five, 10, five to 10 more than I thought we were going to. So that's not too bad. I mean, some of that dirt was actually pretty, pretty good dirt. So yeah, cool. All right. Let's uh, get things started back up up here. We still have uh, more dirt to process. So we're going to disconnect you. I don't know why these valves don't work. You. You'd think I'd be able to turn these valves here and just shut it off, but it doesn't doesn't do anything. So you have to just kind of disconnect it like this. Not a huge deal, but still, it just seems a little odd to me. I don't know. All right, let's turn everything back on. We actually don't need these guys on, but not that it matters. And uh, we still have half a hopper there and then a full dump truck to throw in here too. So I'm going to get this all going here and then head on back over to the dig and keep working on that. I'll bring you back with an update here in just a little while. Okay, we are uh, getting close here. Um, yeah, I think we should uh, <clears throat> we should head on down um, uh, for the next load and hit it from down below now. Uh, we also got the message that we have a new person that wants to work for us, but we can't check that until the thunderstorm is over because we can't access our tablet, which sucks. I have an idea, too, uh, about the D-Rocker. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to run the conveyor belt only, fill the D-Rocker up without running the D-Rocker with the first load, and then with the second load, and, well, whoops, second and third loads, you know, then we do like we've been doing all along. So that way, basically, we're running, uh, you know, three three loads at a time instead of just two. And I think that should work okay. I've got to just be careful going around this corner here. All right, so let's get this one dumped first, and we're only going to turn on the conveyor and the hopper 
and get the D-Rocker full first. Okay, so conveyor belt container and conveyor belt only. And that should fill this up. Then we'll shut everything down, take another load up, put it in the hopper, go back, get a third load, and then and then run the dirt all at that point in time. All right, guys, the thunderstorm finally stopped, so let's see who this new person is. This is a dump truck dude. Uh, so I think if we add him to the drunk, the dump truck, it may makes the dump truck more efficient in some way. I don't know, faster, maybe a faster bucket dump or something. I'm not really sure, but let's hire him and um, assign him then to our dump truck. So it's this this duffer here. <laughs> uh, okay, so oh, he'll give us a little more movement speed. And then at level two, malfunction rate, 2.86%, really? I mean, we're not even going to notice that. That's that's a bunch of crap. But this stuff's better because, you know, a chance to auto repair, 30% durability on failure. All right, yeah, we'll, we'll assign him to here, there. Okay. We'll see how, uh, I guess we got 1% to f uh, fuel usage down too. So I, I just haven't really been getting ideal workers uh in this playthrough so far so you know whatever it is what it is i really want the ones you know that can work the plant for us because that's what's really going to bump our production up um so i've basically been using the front loader to uh you know to dig this out and it's working reasonably well uh, we got quite a ways up in here uh, so far with the front loader so i'm going to just kind of keep going a little further until you know, we intersect with this slope, which will probably be somewhere around in here. And then when that happens, then I'll bring the bulldozer over and see if we can, you know, smooth this out up to that point. And we might call it good uh, at that point because, <clears throat> you know, um, the ramp will have two different grades. But as long as it works, as long as we can get, you know, our vehicles up and down, it doesn't really matter so a whole lot. And then when that's done, um, you know, then we're going to go in and we're going to start. Let me put these back on here. Uh, then we're going to start digging out the rich dirt. I don't really technically need to put these on, but we'll do it anyway. Um, so now this dirt here is not really that good. So I might, hmm, I'm trying to decide what to do about that. But it starts to get really good right here. I mean, you know, just a couple of squares in. So we're probably going to dig that out anyway, just because we got to get it out of the way. <coughs> and then, you know, we'll slowly start digging back here where we have this really good stuff. Um, not a whole lot of good stuff back in there, but just kind of in the middle section here, all of this is going to get us some pretty nice uh, dineros. Um, so, yeah, well, you know, we'll cut this out. I don't know if I'll run the dirt or not. I mean, I probably will because, you know, why not, right? I mean, there's 180 ounces of gold in that square. It's just that they're, you know, it's just spread out. There isn't really a rich spot. So, yeah, we'll probably just run that dirt too and, and start cutting our way back until we can get into here. And then we're going to really get into the, the awesome stuff there. So that is the plan anyways. All right, guys, um, I will, I'm going to keep working on this and I'll bring you back um, when I'm ready to uh, get back on the dozer and then we'll go from there. So see you in a bit. All right. So we got this one kind of little dippity do thing right here that I'd like to see if I can smooth out. But I think we might be further ahead to try and hit it from up above as, you know, going down the hill as opposed to coming up the hill. <clears throat> I mean, the ramp's almost usable even now. Um but I'd like to get it a little bit better if we can. But what we're going to do is come get on that angle, put this down. See, it's not pushing the, the dirt. 
the way I want it to. Well, that might be a little bit better than it was. Yeah, I think it's an improvement, maybe. Kinda hard to say. Still definitely dips off there. This is as far down as the blade will go, but it's not pushing the one part that I want it to push. It's really weird. Well, I wonder if I just, I don't know, if I drive over it, will it smash it down? Doesn't seem to. Just doesn't want to behave. Well, I guess what we could do is, you know, leave the ramp as it is and just start using it and over time it should flatten out just from driving over it I think I've tried a couple of times to push it from this side and every time I do it I just I re royally screw it up and so I have to reload a save a quick save to come back and try it again and you know this is just it's a lot harder than it looks uh, and it's, it has to do more with the behavior of the dirt the way the dirt behaves in this game than even, you know, what it would do in real life. If we, what if we got over this way and kind of hit it at an angle? I mean, look how far that blade is down into the dirt and it's not fixing that. Doesn't make any sense. The bulldozers, you know, I, I'm having fun with it, but it's also frustrating, too, just because of the way the game works. It's definitely not true to life. Um, I mean, it's like there's no way dirt would behave that way, you know, the way that the, it does in the game with this bulldozer. But what we might be able to do is let's get you all the way down. Okay, now if we kind of just do that a little bit and lift as we push. Yeah. Kind of made it even a worse divot there now, didn't we? But we might, okay, here, let's bring this load back. Let's go back up there again. Go about here. Get the blade down to here-ish. Just kind of lift it and move forward to keep it, you know, a little more gradual. I wonder if I could fix that now with the dozer, since we've changed the, kind of the position of it. Yeah, it wants to get stuck right there. There's like a little lump that it was that's high. It's high centering on.
Okay, let's take the dozer back up there and see if we can do something about that now. Ah, oh, now I screwed it up. Oh, for goodness sakes. All right, you know what? Doggone it. I didn't save either. All right, let's go back to our quick save again. Um, I mean, honestly, that's... This point that I saved here is almost the best that I've been able to get it, except for that one little dip there. Obviously, we haven't been able to fix that with the dozer, so let me see if I can just nip that a little bit down more with the front loader blade, and if I can, I think we're going to call this good and just start using it, and then hopefully, you know, it'll level out, or smooth out, I should say. This is just really a hassle. Way more than I would have thought doing this, you know. And my original plan was to make a nice, smooth, neat, flat grade. And now I'm at the point, like, I just want <laughs> I just want something that's going to work, you know. Um, okay, let's get around this way. So what we want to do is nip off that. Yeah, that little spot there. Okay. I mean, the the front loader is doing a better job than the dozer is of this, you know? And it, it's not what a front loader is really supposed to do, but it literally is... Uh, this whole little ramper I built with the front loader, not the dumb dozer. All right. Well, here's what we're going to do then. Let's back up a little bit. Okay. Now... Let's see if we can get up there with the dump truck. And it's uh, it's also the excavator that we need to get up there too. So we still have a bit of a, a rough spot here, but we might be able to get up that. So let's just try it a couple times with the dump truck and see what it does. We do have a load of dirt too, but we wouldn't typically be going up this ramp with a load of dirt. We'd be coming down it with a load of dirt. Okay. Well, you know, if, yeah, if we, if we get enough of a run at it... We can definitely get up here with the dump truck. All right. So I think, guys, what I'm going to do at this point then is return the dozer and get the excavator back here. And hopefully, like, you know, like I've said a few times now, that this will smooth out as time goes by and as we continue to drive over it. But it's functional. It's not pretty, but it's functional. And I think that's what we're going to we're going to run with that. OK, so now uh, the next the, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back over to here and we're going to dig the rest of this dirt out because this dirt that's right in front of me is actually pretty gold rich dirt. Uh, but in the doing, you know, in, in the process of doing that, of course, we're going to, um, we're going to break the pathway up there, so we will no longer be able to use it, which was the whole point in building the ramp in the first place. Um, and we're not f completely full up on here either. But I think I want to get the excavator back here before we, before we completely commit to this ramp, and just make sure the excavator can get up and down that ramp or up it in particular. Uh, well, really up and down because we might need to. Uh, we might need to take bring it back off the dirt and use it for something else like, you know, loading up the planters when the time comes. So it does need to be able to, to get tra to traverse it is what it needs to do. Okay, so um, let's go, well, let's get into our pickup truck here. Of course, it's going to be the last one that I try. There we go. Now, how much is it going to cost us? What do we got? We got $36,000. How much is it going to cost us to unlock transport? 
Oh, 5,000? Yeah, let's do it. That's not that bad. Okay. So I want to bring the big excavator back here. And we are finished with, oh, no, we've got to, hold on. No, we can't do this. we got to return the dozer in the return area. Forgot about that. Okay, let's go grab the dozer and bring it, whoops, bring it to the return area here. So I enjoyed, you know, I enjoyed using it up on top, but when, we, when it came to starting to use it to do this ramp, it was just too much hassle. I'm sure it can be used for that, but I just, you know, it wasn't working for me and I'm I'm finished messing with it I want to get back to you know to get more gold all right guys um, I have returned the bulldozer and brought back the excavator so this is the moment of truth as long as I can get this up the hill we're good to go because really it's just this and the uh, the the uh, dump truck that we will we would bring up here on a somewhat regular basis, I think. So so far so good. This is going to be the kind of tricky-ish part, but yeah, I think I think we're good. We're yeah yeah we're good. Awesome. Okay, cool. All right. So yeah, I mean you know I'm a little I'm a little disappointed that I couldn't get the whole ramp nice and pristine like this one but it, you know it is what it is i'm tired of messing with it and uh you know it's functional and that's the important thing so i want to get back to mining and get into this really good gold so um the the ne very next thing that's going to happen is we're going to actually take the excavator back down to the bottom and we're going to use it to kind of pull the the gold up from from higher up uh, to get the rest of that in that little section over there where we still have some, you know, pretty fairly gold rich dirt. We'll get that mined out next and then I'm going to, you know, have to decide. Well, no, actually I don't have to decide anything. We're, we're basically just going to start cutting into this section over here and start working our way back. And, you know, this front dirt, of course, is not that good, but we need to get it out of the way anyway so we can get back to the good dirt. And uh, I'll just run it through the plant because we'll still get some gold from it. So, yeah, that's the plan. Uh, but anyways, guys, that is it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And um, I will bring you back in the next episode with an update on where we are. Uh, the next major goal for us is to um, purchase two of the planters. And I think to get both of those, it's going to take us about 500 grand. So... Uh, I may not bring you guys back until I have, you know, enough money to do that so we can then put the planters in and get this fully upgraded to Tier 4. Uh, so, yep, yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment to share out the video, and we will catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.